The primary component of the supply circuit is an air compressor, such as this Bendix 2 Flow 550. Powered by the vehicle's engine, the air compressor converts atmospheric air into compressed air, energy needed to power the vehicle's brakes. The compressor components we focus on during this presentation are the crankshaft, connecting rods, rear end cover, rear main bearing journal, pistons, cylinder bore, inlet valve, discharge valve, and discharge port. The compressor crankshaft and connecting rods convert the rotational force of the engine to a vertical linear force in the compressor pistons. The compressor is lubricated by pressurized engine oil, which in this case enters the rear end cover, flows to the rear main bearing journal, and through a passage in the crankshaft to the connecting rod bearings. Oil that escapes from around the bearings falls to the bottom of the crankcase and is returned to the engine. This oil return is important because it prevents crankcase flooding which results in compressor oil passing. Let's take a look at the air compressor from a front view revealing a single piston only. During the intake stroke a slight vacuum is created above the piston in the cylinder bore causing the inlet valve to open and move from its seat. Filtered atmospheric air flows into the bore until the piston reaches bottom dead center and begins to reverse its travel. As the piston begins its compression stroke, the inlet valve closes and the air in the cylinder bore is compressed as the piston approaches top dead center. During air compression, the discharge valve opens, allowing compressed air to flow from the cylinder bore past the open valve and out the discharge port into the supply reservoir. Returning to our full cutaway view of the compressor, we find that since the compressor contains two cylinders and the crankshaft has 180 degree opposed journals, one piston will be on its intake stroke while the other is compressing, building to maximum pressure. While this is occurring, a constant flow of engine coolant is routed through the cylinder head cavities to dissipate the heat generated by the compressor during air compression. Rapid buildup of air pressure depends upon proper opening, closing, and sealing of both the inlet and discharge valving and unobstructed flow of air in the cylinder bores. Check for any restrictions to the flow of atmospheric air into the cylinder bore or the compressor discharge line leading to the supply reservoir. The obstruction of atmospheric air flow into the cylinder bore will cause the vacuum above the piston to draw oil past the piston rings, resulting in oil passing. An obstruction in the compressor discharge line leading to the supply reservoir will cause the compressor to run hot, build carbon deposits, and pass oil despite adequate coolant flow.